what's going on guys welcome to another video so i apologize it has been a few days since i have last posted any abshit videos or any videos at all uh just to announce that i was busy uh with my website uh, arisazahar.com and with good news it's almost ready i've enhanced the contents at the website and I hope you guys can uh, have a look at it and let me know what you think about it. So anyways, for today's uh, episode, we are actually going to do a very uh, specific um, video regarding a comment from Shahirman Rahman. So I would believe he is also from the same country, which is Malaysia. Um, the comment is in uh, Malay, but I'll just translate for everyone's benefit. So the question is regarding on is it uh, what is the way to do a sort of condition whereby if a user selects a certain uh, input uh, such as type 1 and submits, it will send an email to a specific person. Uh, and if the user selects type 2, it will send to another email, perhaps the supervisor. And that is something, uh, of course, uh, achievable or doable in AppSheet. So, good news on that. So, without further ado, let's check it out. Okay, guys. So, first of all, we have the data table where I have my submission ID the item type so this is where we will do the enum for item type 1 and type 2 so other details is just a normal long text column that I plan to do now in the email table I have these two uh, data which is the first one is type 1 for the item type and the email recipient is arisazhar.digital at gmail.com and for type 2 would be uh, hello at arisazhar.com so we have set or predefined the type 1 and type 2 items to be corresponding to their emails respectively okay so now in app sheet of course, I mentioned earlier for data, I am using item type as enum. So this is where I created the values for type 1 and type 2. And that's why, that's why you can see there's type 1 and type 2 here. Okay. Now, since we have brought two tables in the app, I want to bring your attention to the automation. All right. And just say we have a bot which sends an email whenever a new data is submitted. Okay. So the settings that I did just for this uh, tutorial, which is for every data change, uh, for every new, sorry, for new data that has been added into the table, which is the data table. And the condition I'm setting here is true so that it's irregardless any condition. Of course, you can set any condition that you like. But for this tutorial, I'm leaving it to true. Now, once that is being satisfied, means there's new data added to the table. We will then proceed to send the email to the PIC. So PIC is person in charge. Okay. And the custom... Uh, we are of course we are sending an email and we are using a custom template and we are referring or um, tying back to the data table okay so normally what we we would do for automation and to send email is where we define the column name okay but for this case i'm actually using a formula okay and the formula is as follows. So of course, the, I'm using a lookup expression here. So you can see here is the item type, 
Okay, so we are looking up at the item type for that particular row or data, data row that we just added. It will then proceed to refer back to the email table. Okay, so of course, this is the email table. And we will then proceed to refer back to the item type. And of course, we will then extract the email recipient based on the item type that has been selected. Okay, so this is just a sample or one of the ways of doing it. So I'm using lookup. So once you have actually done this, click on save. Okay, so I don't need to because I've done mine. Let's say, for example, let's say we are doing for sample one. Okay, and I'm choosing type one as the item type. So when I click on save, okay, the robot would then proceed to send an email, okay. So of course I've received a notification saying here that uh, since this app is not deployed, but you can see the notification has been sent out. And here you can see this email should have gone to arisazar.digital at gmail.com. Okay, so of course, type one, this is the email arisazar at digit digital at gmail.com. So now let's test for type two, sample two. Okay. So we have, we have saved in the app. Okay, so we have received another email. Okay, since it is not being deployed, so it's sent back to the admin, which is myself. But then this email should have gone to hello at arisazahar.com. So that is actually tally with the one that we have set. So of course, you can add more types and uh, more emails depending on your case. Or you can add more conditions to it. But then again, this is one of the ways of doing the um, dynamic email uh, automation using the lookup function. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, drop a like if you find this useful. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't to see more contents like this in the future. And do let me know what else you'd like to see in the comment section down below. And of course, uh, I have uh, stored all of my videos and tutorials and extra info in my website where you can log on to arisazahar.com and you'll find all the previous tutorials uh, with the steps uh, step by step and some explanation to the tutorials that I did so that you may understand better on the things that I've did before and please guys don't stop uh, giving me your comments on what else you'd like to see so that I can continue doing more videos in the future and for those who are still waiting for the response from me hang in there will come to you as well eventually so again, thank you very much, guys, for your support. Yeah, I'm very happy that where this is going. It's been uh, more than a year. And of course, this is nothing without uh, the support and love given by all of you. So again, thank you very much. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. So take care. Bye-bye.